OAP students. This is Mr. Becker here to talk a little bit about the great vessels uh, and the blood vessels that branch off of them. All right, so in my previous video, I discussed the three great vessels at the base of the heart, the pulmonary trunk, the aorta, and the superior vena cava. The pulmonary trunk is gonna carry deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle out this way, and then will branch to form a left and right pulmonary artery. All right? The left pulmonary artery is going to go to the left lung, the right pulmonary artery goes to the right lung. Uh, our model doesn't show that specific branch point, but this is the pulmonary trunk. It is a pulmonary artery, uh, but we give it the name pulmonary trunk because it is singular uh, for a span of distance before it branches uh, to move to the lung specifically. The aorta has three component parts to it. I'm going to move the pulmonary trunk out of the way. We have the ascending portion of the aorta coming out of the semilunar valve of the left side of the heart. We have the arch portion, the aortic arch up here, and then we have the descending portion of uh, the aorta. The ascending portion of the aorta has two vessels that come out of it, the left coronary and the right coronary artery of the coronary circulation. In other words, the heart feeds itself first. The arch of the aorta contains three vessels that come off of it. On the right-hand side here, coming out this way, showing with the red arrow here, is the brachiocephalic trunk. And then on the left side here, we have ourselves the left common carotid artery and the left subclavian artery. All right, the left common carotid and left subclavian artery along with the brachiocephalic trunk. Uh, in order, they go B, C, S. Uh, if anybody is a fan of college football, this was my, my, my mnemonic device back in the day, BCS, Bowl Championship Series. All right, so brachiocephalic trunk, common carotid, subclavian. Now, if we have a left common carotid and a left subclavian artery, we must have rights, right? And that's where, if we turn this around a little bit, we can see the branches, right? This branch right here, coming off of the brachiocephalic trunk down here, is the right common carotid. And then here we have the right subclavian. All right, so we have a little bit of a variance between left and right for our greater vessels that we have to be aware of. The right side has the brachiocephalic trunk, then the right common carotid and subclavian branching off, whereas on the left side, the left common carotid and left subclavian come directly from the aorta. And this is thought to be one of the things that leads to feeling uh, a pain in your left arm when you're having a heart attack because the left subclavian that leads out to your arm is more directly attached to the heart than the right side is. Right. Sitting over the aorta is the vena cable tree, the superior vena cable tree. And this is our superior vena cava right here. We have two branches that come off that are going to deliver blood to the superior vena cava. We have the right brachiocephalic vein and the left brachiocephalic vein. Note the difference here. We have a singular brachiocephalic trunk, but we have two brachiocephalic veins. Each brachiocephalic vein receives blood from two major vessels, the internal jugular veins and the subclavian veins. So here's our right subclavian and our right internal uh, jugular vein coming together to form the right brachiocephalic vein. Over on this side here, we have ourselves the left internal jugular and left subclavian forming our left brachiocephalic vein. And right, so these are going to branch, bring blood together, and then ultimately into the superior vena cava. Right, these are the blood vessels uh, that come off of the base of the heart.